In this video, we're going to balance ALOH3 plus H2CO3. This is aluminum hydroxide. This is carbonic acid. I'll tell you before we start, this is a pretty involved equation to balance. It just takes a while. So we're going to use a trick to make it a little bit easier, but it's still kind of an involved equation. Because we have this hydroxide ion, if we had it on the other side, we could count it as just one thing. In this case, we don't, so we're just going to leave it like this. But the carbonate ion, CO3, we have it here and here. So since we have this polyatomic ion, the carbonate ion here and here, we're just going to count it as one thing. That makes it a lot easier to balance this equation. So we have one aluminum. We have three times one. That's three oxygens. And we're not going to count these oxygens here because they're with the carbonate. And we're counting the carbonate as just one thing. For the hydrogens, we have three times the one plus we have the two here. So we have five hydrogen atoms. And then we just have the one carbonate ion. Product side, we have two aluminums, one oxygen, two hydrogens, and then three times the one. So we have three carbonate ions. This is a lot easier to work with. It's a lot neater. I always leave the oxygens and hydrogens to last. That's a good way to do it. Let's start by balancing the aluminums. We have two here, one here. Let's put a two in front of the aluminum, one times two. So those are balanced. And then we need to update the oxygens and the hydrogens. So for the oxygens, we have three times the one, that's three times two, we have six of them. Three times the one times two, we have six hydrogens, plus we have these two hydrogens here. So we have eight total hydrogen atoms. So we've balanced the aluminums, these are different, but again, we're leaving the oxygen and hydrogen to last. Let's balance the carbonate. I have one here and three here. I'm gonna put a three in front of the carbonic acid. One carbonate times three, that'll give me three carbonates. So those are balanced but I'll need to update the hydrogens here because those changed. So I have three times one times two, I have six plus two times three is six. That gives us 12. And since we're counting the carbonate as one thing, we don't need to worry about the oxygens right now. So we're actually very close. We have a 12 to six, that's a two to one ratio. And here we have a two to one ratio. So if we put a six in front of the water, two times six, that gives us 12, so that's good. And then one times six, that gives us six, and we're done. This equation is balanced. The keys here, if you have a polyatomic ion on both sides, count that as one thing. That makes it a lot easier. And it's usually useful to leave the oxygens and hydrogens to last when you're balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for aluminum hydroxide plus carbonic acid. Thanks for watching.